Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change an injector hose assembly on your washer. It's a really easy job. All we'll need is a Phillips screwdriver, a 3/8 socket with a short extension, and either a 5/16 or quarter inch nut driver. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we should do is disconnect the power to the washer. Simply pull the plug from the receptacle. Now the first step in this repair will be to remove the front panel. There are two Phillips screws about an inch in from either side just under that lip. So either with a stubby Phillips screwdriver or pull the machine forward enough so that you can tilt it back and remove those two screws. Once we've removed the two screws, we'll pull the front panel out at the bottom and tilt it down to disconnect the two spring clips at the top. Now we can set that aside. Now with the front panel removed, we now have access to the two 3 8 bolts that hold the main top to the cabinet. So we'll remove those two bolts. Now with the bolts removed, just gently hold the lid closed and tilt the whole main top backwards and then lower the lid. Now we have access to the water inlet assembly. We'll just give the open end of it a quarter turn and lift it out of the tub cover. Next, we'll remove a 5 16 screw that secures it to the cabinet. Yeah. Now next, we have the outlet hose from the fill valve that we need to remove and it will be held on with either a quarter inch uh, hose clamp or a 5 16 hose clamp depending on the model. Just pull the tub to the side enough that you can angle your nut driver onto the clamp. Just loosen the clamp enough that you can pull it away from the valve. And then pull the hose off of the outlet of the fill valve and remove the whole assembly. Now to install the new assembly, well first of all, put the original clamp back on the outlet hose from the valve and we'll slide that hose over the outlet. Make sure it is pushed down all the way onto the valve. And we'll line that clamp up so that it's accessible from the front. And tighten it firmly. Next we'll fasten the air gap assembly to the cabinet. Slide the flat portion underneath the lip of the cabinet and put the screw down through from the top. And then we'll connect the outlet to the tub cover. Simply turn it to point towards the center of the tub and rotate it counterclockwise 90 degrees until it locks in place. 
Now before we put the main top down, you'll take note where the 3 8 bolts go. There is a single hole on the left hand side and a single hole through the cabinet. On the right hand side there are two holes, one smaller one for the bolt and the same thing on the cabinet. There is a small hole for the bolt and a large one there as well. So make sure that we don't use the large holes on the right hand side. We'll start those by hand. Make sure that we don't get them in cross threaded. Make sure both of the bolts are nice and snug so that we don't have any vibration from the cabinet. And now we're ready to reinstall the front panel. Now to install the front panel, we'll hook these two spring clips up under the top with the panel tilted forward and then just hinge it back into place, keeping an upward pressure on the panel. Then we can install the two screws. These screws go in at about a 45 degree angle. So you're either going to need a stubby Phillips screwdriver, or start them by hand, and then tilt the machine back to give yourself enough room to put a regular screwdriver on. Make sure they're good and tight so that the front panel doesn't rattle. Now we're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. We told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.